Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm in the Sunday Creek section of Kinder Ranch in Bulverde, Texas. One of the big things I love about this community is if you've got kids that are in elementary, middle school, and high school, this community has all three of those attached to this community. They got Piper High School, Piper Middle School, and Kinder Ranch Elementary. So yeah, if you're in that situation, definitely check out this community. It's just off 281, kind of north of San Antonio, easy to get to. But anyways, we're out here because Monticello has a brand new model home. I really love this floor plan, especially because it has an option to put a mother-in-law suite in it. And I'm seeing more and more people asking for that, but not enough builder providing it. So yeah, let's go check out this house. This is Monticello's gardener plan. It can be a five bedroom, three car, 3,300 square foot house, or it could be a four bedroom with a mother-in-law suite in it. Uh, so, and there's also an option to put a movie media room in there as well. So a lot of options in this house. It is a two story home, but yeah, it is beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to showing this house off to you guys. Now this is a modern home, so remember all the bells and whistles are going to be put into this house to really showcase what Monticello can do. Alright, let's head on inside. Alright, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button before I forget to ask at the end. Uh, viewership has definitely been down a little bit, but then again, interest rates have, as we're filming this, they're still pretty high. Uh, it's end of January 2024, so not a lot of people are looking right now, but let's talk about this house. Beautiful entry coming in really do like the flooring. Remember that this is a model home, so this would be the three car tandem garage in it, but they've got it as Monticello's sales office. But the big thing is I wanna show off the option to have a mother-in-law suite in it. And if you chose to go this direction, it's only 7,500 to get this put in. So you have the French doors and your living space right here. And you have a little hallway going down to a full bath and a mud inset, full shower. And yeah, they, of course, they're showing it off. So they got the tile going all the way up to the top. For having an additional 7,500 being able to do this, it's not a bad deal. I know the Hillsboro with Scott Felder, they're talking like $60,000, but they also have an exterior door. But this is a bedroom. Pretty good size bedroom. Good size closet in here. And eight foot doors in this house. All right, so yeah, if you have a elderly mother or somebody that wants to live in here, always remember the rules. If they shut the doors, that means leave them alone. They want their quiet time. But if the doors are open, you can always socialize that way. But uh, yeah, it's easy to kind of come in those front doors and go straight into your in-law suite. Anyways, we've got a powder room right up in the front part of the house. That's just the storage closet. But this house uh, without the media room is about 3,300 square feet. Lots and lots of living space. Lots of windows, love the tall tray ceilings in here. They've got the fireplace put in. Uh, wow, they really went nuts with this kitchen. Love this uh, quartz countertop. Just a beautiful layout. Show off the single basin quartz sink. Um, also, I haven't have a, I don't have, I do have a granite composite sink but I don't have a black one, but man, if you use a bartender's keeper to clean them, man, that stuff works like a charm. I've had one for, good God, 10 years now, and it still looks almost brand new. Plenty of space in uh, the breakfast nook area. And I love how they have the countertops going all the way down. So man, you're not gonna have any problem if you wanna entertain, set up your buffet over on this side. Plenty of plugs if you're doing the crock pots and stuff like that. But yeah, perfect if you wanna have that type of setup in here. And no, I'm not gonna forget the pantry. So let's go and check that out. All right, 
it's actually bigger than your normal corner pantry. Pretty darn nice. All right, master bedroom's off in that corner there. I'm gonna save that for later. Hopefully I don't forget. I've realized I forgot it. One of my videos, I came downstairs and immediately went into my wrap up. And now I gotta go fix that. But I do love the area out here in Kinder Ranch. Uh, there is some topography, but um, not, there are some green space lots that Monticello still has available. I need to ask the sales rep exactly what's going on back here. Because obviously they've cleared all this out or else there'd be some trees and stuff here. So I don't really know what's going on back there. But talk about the house, they got some nice yards. Uh, propane outlet there or natural gas all right let's head upstairs I really like what's going on with the upstairs uh, lots and lots of different room lots of space of different things you can do I really wish my I live in a two-story house I wish mine had this kind of layout because it just makes so much more sense yeah, my house, I do have three bedrooms. No, I got four bedrooms upstairs. But this has three bedrooms upstairs. This is the first one. These are good-sized bedrooms. Bathroom over there. And I'll show you that a little bit later. <clears throat> Don't want to miss this closet because, wow, that's a big closet for not the master bedroom. But check this out, no wasted space in this upstairs. You got this really cool size game room, entertainment space, place for kids to go beat themselves up. This is the movie theater option. It's about $7,000 option, not seven, sorry, $20,000 option. So yeah, that's really super cool. Love how they got it all blacked out, got the sconces on the walls. Really nicely done if you want to have your home theater. But yeah, this is a $20,000 option to this plan. You don't need to. If you did, it adds, turns on almost a 3,300 square foot house to almost a 3,700 square foot. That's another bedroom. Like I said, nice size bedroom. Decent sized closets. And this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bedroom, bedroom, mostly because you're gonna still share, you're gonna have your own sink. I don't know why there's no lights up there. But you're gonna share your full tub shower combo and share the toilet. And then uh, the other rooms can also have their own sink and a good size space. So I do like the layout of this having all I mean, three bedrooms right off this uh, game area. And you got a nice little storage spot here. And then the bathroom that can be shared with uh, the game area and the other bedroom. So this is gonna be a full bath set up here. So yeah, if you, this would definitely be the more desirable room because it's kind of set off to the side. All right, let's head on back downstairs. And I'm gonna put the layouts and what the uh, current prices is as of late January, 2023 at the end of this video. So don't click off just yet. All right, coming downstairs, back to the main living area. And they've got the owner's suite kind of tucked away on this corner of the house. Now, I wouldn't say this is a large, large owner's suite. It's a decent size. Got plenty of space for your two end tables, one dresser, and I guess if you didn't have those chairs there, you could put another dresser in. But wait, there's a cure to that. And I'll show you that in a little bit, right after we show off this bathroom. Dual vanities. Big freestanding soaking tub. I do love a good soaking tub, and that's actually not that cheap for a builder to put in. 
but Monticello does like doing it. You've got your frosted glass, so uh, you don't have to go to the gym if you want to stand up and the neighbor's checking you out. All right, we got mud inset. I know I've been saying the same joke for years that if the neighbor can see you standing up in the tub, it's just motivation to go to the gym. All right, got your water closet there. But yeah, check out the size of this closet. I mentioned before the master bedroom doesn't have a whole lot of space for counter dressers, but they've got a dresser in here. So if you've got your uh, clothes that you want to keep in there, man, you just get fully dressed without leaving the bathroom. That's kind of nice. And a uh, little hanger thing up for long dresses. All right, I think they've got some people checking this house out. All right, let's head on in. Get one last big look at this uh, main living space. Really nicely laid out house, I like a lot. And Kinder Ranch is a gas community. All right, that's gonna do it for the video tour of the Gardner plan built by Monticello Homes. Without all the bells and whistles, the starting asking price is 641K for the base plan of this house. That's not including the mother-in-law suite or the movie theater. But uh, if you didn't have a mother-in-law suite, this turns into a five bedroom house with an office. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know someone considering moving to this part of uh, Texas Hill Country, north of San Antonio, Shirt Cibolo area, New Braunfels, Bernie, Bulverde, any of those places, feel free to have them reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. It does not cost you anything to use a real estate agent to purchase any of these production homes. So please don't go this process alone. Uh, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.